Hey everybody, welcome back to my... Oh, that might need to come off. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So I have literally just come back from work and um, so yes, I'm fully aware. Thank you so much for quite a few people now that have rightfully... Actually, no, no one said, where is your reaction to, to Austri Austria? The reaction has been, or the communication has been, um, can't wait for it. <laughs> so I think potentially some people are connecting potentially the sound of this song to the sort of music that I love and as a result are preempting that I'm going to really like this. Now I kind of assumed that was going to occur and I think that's why I'm a bit nervous about listening to it. So let's just give a bit of context in regards to the songs. We've known the artist for a while, right? So the artist is Colleen. So I remember the, did the artist get leaked after the kind of demo version of the song. I can't remember, but there's been things that have been uploaded on Twitter and discussed in Twitter, on Twitter, for some months. And so as a result of that, I'm fully aware of who she is. So she's been employed by Eurovision as a stand-in for the rehearsals, right? And ever since the, I guess, demo got leaked in whatever form it was, because I never listened to it, or moreover watched a video, I think I tapped by accident once with her walking along a catwalk. And I was like, oh, stop. So as a result of that, I know from that, there's been a lot of excitement and buzz around this song. And then bless her. So I did see that obviously the intention was to release the studio version and the music video at the same time, but there seems to have been some issues with that. So the studio version hit, and then the music video has shortly come afterwards. I need to work out what was the delay, because I did see a brief part of the interview where she was in the car upset that it didn't go as the way she wanted to in regards to the official launch of her and Austria's entry. So I do feel that I know there is a baby that, right, if you follow my channel, you know that there's a, a baby there. There is a baby that has moved here or here. And I think the parent is evidently doing some sort of sleep training where it's just putting the child in a room where it just screams for an hour. I get to listen to that. <laughs> anyway, let's ignore that. Let's focus on Austria. Um, okay, so let's work back slightly. So yeah, I kind of feel like I know this song because I think I've heard the same snippet of this song countless times. Like on Instagram, I've obviously got a lot of people that I follow that are Eurovision fans. So as soon as the official audio kind of got released, I was going through stories and it seemed like everyone was deciding to put that song on the story. So I feel like I could probably sing along to the chorus, to be honest. I'm a bit nervous to listen to this and I, there's two reasons why. Number one, Austria two years ago. I remember coming home after a long day from work, sitting down, I'm watching that song, listening to that song and getting super uber excited. And I think I probably said the infamous words like, you know, this is gonna be one of my favorite songs and all of that stuff. Well, that came back to bite me in the ass, didn't it? Because after like two weeks, I think I listened to it loads. I was like, I'm kind of done with this now. And I never really revisited it. And so when it came to the time where obviously most YouTubers rank their songs, right? When all of them are released. I think I was like, and Austria in 27, whatever it was. And people were like, eh? <laughs> I swear I watched a video with you absolutely waxing lyricals over that song, which obviously would bring my authenticity into question, which I completely appreciate. And obviously would completely understand if anyone decided to unfollow me from that. But it was a genuine experience, i.e. listening to the song, loving it. And then over time, other songs getting released. And then just having this moment with that song in that time, Genuinely thinking that it would be one of my favorites in the end of, at the end of it, but then falling out of love with it. So I'm kind of worried this is going to happen with this one because from the snippet that I've heard, this does feel like a Shane song already. So my first reservation is, am I going to do this video? I absolutely love it. And then when I come to my ranking at the end of the season, be like, and 33. <laughs> Second of all, I'm getting the the vibe that it's a dance song. And what I mean by that is a kind of dance number. So as a result, I don't know whether it's like Cascada dance, which I'm totally here for, will lap that up, get totally excited, or whether it's kind of growing up Clubland and Head Candy CD dance, which I never fully got on board with. And so as a result, if it's the latter one, I will be obviously slightly like, oh yeah, no, I appreciate this, but I'm just not a big fan of dance music, 
pop dance behind <laughs> Cascada. Give me that. But yeah, if it's a dance track, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, I feel that's enough of a disclaimer before I <laughs> watch this video <laughs> to cover all bases in case I'm just like, yeah, I get it, I get it. Like, because yeah, the hype is real around this song on Twitter. I don't know whether it's necessarily because the people that flocked Twitter are a certain generation or group of people, I don't know. But if Twitter's anything to go by, this is one of the favorites. This is a song that everyone's creaming over. Everyone, bar maybe few. And this, I, I don't know, I don't know, have I seen winners vibes? Not necessarily, but certainly fan favorite vibes, as in this is going to Malmo with a huge, huge fan favorite wave behind it. So the pressure's on to be part of that, I guess, crew, right? Okay, so let's check this song out that people have evidently preempted that I'm gonna like. Um, with already a disclaimer for two reasons why I'm slightly apprehensive and maybe why I didn't do it yesterday when maybe I should have done and I did Australia instead. <laughs> I was like, I'll give it a bit, I'll give it a bit. Because yeah, this Eurovision season, so far I've managed not to piss anyone off. Right, okay, <laughs> that I'm aware of. So let's check it out. Is it up? Okay, the production on this one is far more complex and sophisticated than I had preempted. I was worried this was going to be based on the 10 seconds that I'd heard and in your face from the very beginning of this song, but it's not at all. We have completely different tempos, different layers of production. Already very happy about that. I feel I can start breathing a little bit <laughs> because I feel this is more Cascada. <laughs> than Clubland or Head Candy, which, oh my goodness, that is a huge relief. Do you know what, like, because I did know the chorus and I've heard the chorus and whereby in the past choruses have been leaked and then you listen to the rest of the song and the rest of the song is or does not live up to your expectation or is not as good as the chorus. I don't know if it's as controversial to say, like, I'm enjoying this chorus, I knew the chorus anyway. The other parts of the song actually are better. <laughs> and as a result of that, that's also why I'm sitting here thanking any Eurovision divinity that might exist that I'm enjoying this. Because I feel if I turn around and said, nah, it's not my thing, yeah. I don't know whether that would go down well. Like I said, I can sing this already. I've heard this part countless times. So my understanding is I'm always quite hesitant in regards to long dance breaks, thinking, okay, on stage, what's gonna happen visually but from the stills that I've seen of her stand-ins at rehearsals, girl can dance, girl's got rhythm. And as a result of that, I'm assuming, assuming we're going to have a lot of choreography. Now I have seen an interview where she professes that she does a lot of cardio, i.e. a lot of fitness work. So if she, with each of these dance breaks, gives me choreography, rather than being necessarily tricked with camera angles and lighting. I'm gonna love this even more. And it finishes hard. Oh, is that it? No. No. Oh, they're gonna have to cut it. It's over three minutes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So, stating the obvious then, did we have much of an intro, actually? Oh, we did have an intro. Let's see how long the intro is. Okay, so theoretically, there are 10 to 15 seconds to shave off. I'm gonna say something quite controversial. You know when it goes into dum 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 with that final bit and I thought that it stopped. So this moment here, so at 2.27. Okay, I'd stop the song there. I don't know, is that controversial? In the sense of give it your absolute all in that last 15 seconds with high-end choreography to really end on a high tempo number, because I'm not convinced whether the rest of this song adds anything. I mean, I wouldn't want to use the phrase repetition, as in, yeah, like, it just feels that that was a natural end in regards to that build and beat and then that extra beat at the end. And I can envisage intense choreography because you can absolutely go for it at the end because there is nothing to sing along to. So you can just exude all of your energy in the last 10, 15 seconds and really end with a punch. I feel the way that that production led, it made me think that the song was over. And then we had that last bit. Now, I don't want to be predictable, but like, you know, maybe give a key change or something to maybe convince me that the last bit was necessary. But I think end there. And then for me, you've got a song that's completely within my remit of what I absolutely love. So the Cascada reference is not my reference, but particularly when I heard the chorus, was it last week? I can't remember now. I thought Cascada, but I'm not gonna say it, but like, I've made that link because clearly everyone's made that link because it does sound similar. And for someone who had two Cascada albums and actually quite liked Glorious, by the way, <laughs> I really did like that song. Happy, like that is testament to the fact that this sound, I think some people were hesitant about to what extent would this sound dated in the sense of, I think some people heard snippets or the, you know, the demo version and thought, is this gonna sound dated? Because I remember a time growing up when this was all the rage, this sort of sound. And as a result, to what extent is this mainstream now? But I feel that the production is so unbelievably slick. The production that they've put on this song does sound fresh. Yes, I wouldn't necessarily hear this sort of sound on the radio, but it doesn't sound dated due to the production. The formula of the song might be dated, but the production certainly brings it into today. I am relieved because I feel like I've done enough of a disclaimer to tell you why I was slightly nervous about checking that one out. But that I can understand why a lot of the Eurovision fandom are very excited about this song. And moreover, how this probably will be by the end of this season, one of the fan favorites. And I guess, where this song will fall flat or completely send me into euphoria will be the performance on the day, right? And I'm not gonna say staging, I'm gonna say the performance. Uh, is she going to sell the song in a way that people think that she can based on what people have seen from her in the past? If she can, and if she can sell this song on stage, then she potentially could deliver me a song. And I'm not gonna be like, one of my favourites at the end of the season because, like I said, I get, I've got PTSD from two years ago with Austria. <laughs> but nonetheless, I can see why there's excitement behind this song. This has had a fan following for ages. So all I can say from what I've seen is there was no disappointment that I could see. If anything, this lived up to or exceeded people's expectations. So irrespective of my opinion, there's a lot of excitement around this song. And I'm giving it kind of the Shane nod because I'm relieved that it's given me a up-to-date Cascada feel and I'm a huge fan, or was certainly, of Cascada. There we go. So yeah, well done, Austria. I've got this out of way. I don't know whether I've dodged a bullet, but hey-ho, <laughs> nonetheless, it's done. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, but please let me know what you think. I know that there are followers and subscribers of my channel that are looking forward to telling me what you think. 
Um, so yeah, please do. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.